Another day, another predator. It seems as though some people just can't get the memo that adults should not be engaging in explicit conversations with minors. And that brings us to today's topic. Shannon Sunday, a YouTuber and musician with almost 300,000 subscribers, who has got their success primarily from making videos related to the rhythm game Friday Night Funkin'. Shannon's popularity has been from his short animated videos and mods that include the Friday Night Funkin' characters with different memes from across the internet. And it's helped him to grow, with his most popular video having 12 million views. However, what's a question today is how freaky he's been getting on a Friday night with minors. In July 2021, a Google document was released regarding Shannon Sunday and their supposed collusions and interactions with minors, which consists of saying that he dated a 13 year old whilst being 17 and 18 and is still in contact with the said 13 year old to this day. This is backed up by the fact that Shannon has used their characters in videos before, which are on screen right now. So let's just have a quick overview of what the document says. By the way, just so you don't get confused, Shannon Sunday has two Discord accounts, his main being Shanson and his alt being Swiftkey. And these screenshots are in somewhat chronological order as you're about to see. The document starts out by showing evidence of Shannon sending links to Rule 34 to minors, which isn't exactly the most damning thing, but it is a start and definitely not something that is completely innocent, considering the next screenshot where the minor they're talking to says that they are 12. This is already pretty messed up considering the exposure to Rule 34 and similar things at a young age can cause catastrophic and permanent damage to someone's mental health through addiction. It reshapes how they're meant to look at love as it's made more violent than in reality. Moving on along the timeline, Shannon started to talk about the relationship with an unknown named 13 year old on Discord publicly. Screenshots that show Shannon saying that they love the 13 year old in Filipino can attest to this. Although some might argue it's platonic, platonic love is never usually directed to the one person mentioned by their first name in a Discord status. Moving on, there's a DM where Shannon starts talking about planning to send explicit videos to a 13 year old in a very strange message. Guess who's horny today? Dude, what the f I'm gonna send blank blowjobs. Here I see this as them sending these kinds of videos in a possible attempt to coerce teach or brainwash the victim into possibly doing those actions with them in the future, which is a common grooming tactic. The method is to expose a young and impressionable person in order to manipulate them for the person's own pleasure, making the victim feel normal when doing those sorts of actions, making them believe that hell is normality. This has been done before in actual grooming cases, so that furthers why I believe this is his motive here. And here Shannon is talking to another 13 year old friend about how their partner is being quote unquote naughty something that no decent person would ever use to describe a minor, let alone a 13 year old. You don't quote unquote sleep heart with friends. If it's platonic, it's fine. Uh, no, it's still a minor. I know, little pony blank is being naughty. There are also recollections of him talking about how he missed his girlfriend whilst on call. Keep in mind Shannon lives in the Philippines, which is something we'll discuss later, but recording calls requires consent from both parties there. So there are no records of this other than a witness testimony. In VCs, he would literally say and rant, God, I miss her. I hope she comes back. God, I miss them so much. Unfortunately, due to Shannon's mass purge of messages, there are not a lot of DMs available during the time period in which Shannon was alleged to have been dating this 13 year old. Couple that with the fact that the victim wishes to remain anonymous and there is some clearing to doubt the document, unfortunately. But this isn't the end of the evidence. After some time, the minor eventually decided to cut off the relationship with Shannon after realizing and recognizing that they were being groomed. And Shannon's response was truly something. Shannon, I think this isn't gonna work out for the both of us. I cannot handle how much pain you gave me. I'm sorry, but it's over for the both of us. Farewell, blank, Chan. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? Please don't leave me. Now, although this is once again a message that could be interpreted in different ways, I see it in a manipulative sort of way. Something to try and convey distress, desperation, and negative emotions in order to guilt trip the other person into staying. The unfortunate thing is that due to the anonymity of the internet, it's very difficult to figure out whether someone really is saying what they mean. But at the end of the day, is it really relevant? At the very least, he's distraught over a 13 year old breaking up with him. And at the most, he's trying to use emotion to manipulate a 13 year old into staying with him. And to add the cherry on top of the vomit to Sunday, Shannon went on to lie about this and said that he was the person who broke it off because he wanted to make himself look better and more mature. Shannon did try to move on from the relationship, but confessed to doing things with his partner when pressed on it. You also said you wouldn't do sexual shit with blank, didn't you? You did. I admit I did, but it's over now, please. Don't bring this up again. I regret my decision. And to top it all off, this is just, I have no words for this, but Shannon Sunday made a tribute video to this relationship. Just, just let, play the clip. That is just 
mental. You know, 18 and 13 relationship, by the way. In the secondary part of the document, a number of screenshots are posted in succession with detailed stories from two of his former friends, who claim to have had a terrible time with him. But that is so in-depth that it deserves its own separate video to discuss. For now, let's only focus on the allegations that are the most damning and important. So, to summarise, this document says that Shannon Sunday sent a minor a link to a pornographic website, had a relationship with a 13-year-old with sexual elements involved, slept with said 13-year-old on call at least once, and romanticised a meme-slash-tribute video to his relationship with them. Some of you may be wondering what the issue was if he was 17, because in that case, both parties were underage, and that would lessen the blow and possibly absolve him of any repercussions. But he still knew what he was doing, and there was still a massive power imbalance, so there clearly was a massive issue, especially when you're in a relationship with a 13-year-old. That's still a gap of four years. There are many ways to draw parallels and reasons why Shannon may have done this, starting with his childhood. Shannon has posted animations about abuse he suffered in his family, and since they are an Asian family, they can be incredibly strict. And that may have incited mental health issues, which might have led to him turning to love and his predominantly young fanbase as an escapism. And once again, this is coming from someone with experience growing up in an Asian family. Although my family is thankfully more kind and less dictatorial, Asian families have a very brash and careless approach to parenting, and I've seen other families be incredibly harsh. To add on to that, the environment that he grew up in was the Philippines, a country where the age of consent is 12 which will have affected how he thinks about relationship and maturity. I want to make it clear that these are not excuses for his actions, but merely speculation about how he might have come to this dark point. So if these allegations are true, what should he do? I believe that Shannon is someone who's done some really terrible things, and them having a platform as of now is worrying. But this should not be a life-ruining incident. Considering that he's only just turned 18, this shouldn't define who he is for the rest of his life. But he really does need to get some help, or at least sort his life out. I'd advise trying to sort out personal issues such as things with family, maybe consider moving out and trying to make some income with work, and if possible, contacting and talking to a therapist about the abuse that he's experienced. As for the online things, he should stay away from the site as long as people in the site's area from him. Similar to the case of Kodoma Tachi, which we may talk about soon, this person is still young in the context of life overall, he's still got a lot ahead of him, and there's still time for change if there is dedication towards changing. But for now, Shannon Sunday is someone who's done some truly awful things, which is something that he needs to sort out. Thanks for watching the video, if you liked the video, like and subscribe, I'm going to be making more art community content in the future. For those of you who are new, my past content is more geared around other online things such as like commentary, but my new content is going to be art community stuff, so stick around for that. Give me any suggestions for videos below in the comments, or on my Discord, or on my Twitter, or even my community posts, that would be helpful. Uh, until next time, stay toasty.